So I ended up actually recently getting the Loop Deck. This is the Loop Deck Plus. So this thing basically is a keyboard mainly for photo editing. So it takes your sort of keyboard shape that you usually get with most other keyboards, but it puts sort of photo editing dials and buttons all on one keyboard so you don't have to mess around with the interface. And I've been mainly using it with Lightroom Classic. It doesn't work with Lightroom CC, I think. I think they're bringing Lightroom CC support later on, but it works with Lightroom Classic. You need to go to the website, download a program to install it, get it all hooked up, and then it just plugs in via, oh, let's get it, via normal USB. So I do kind of wish this was USB-C though, because I feel like everything is moving over to USB-C. So it would be cool to see this as USB-C. So the keyboard actually comes in pretty nice, all black, sort of matte black packaging. I really like it. Nothing too crazy, nothing too fancy, but it's nice packaging and I appreciate sort of minimalist packaging like this. Once you get the loop deck out, it sort of looks like your ordinary keyboard. It even has like the up, down, left, right buttons here and the bottom right. But of course, everything is completely different when it comes to the actual buttons and stuff. You know, you have dials, you have like sort of scroll wheels, you have buttons, you have other shortcuts and you have a control dial here as well. There's quite a lot going on with this keyboard and I've been using it for the past week with Lightroom Classic. If you're someone like me who edits lots of photos and wants to speed up your process, you know, this loop deck is actually pretty useful you know you can quickly do things like change the exposure shadows highlights blacks whites clarity all sorts you can also change between hue saturation and luminance there are three buttons by the scroll wheels where you see hue saturation and luminance and you can switch between those very easily and then you can use the scroll wheels to sort of adjust each color which is so useful you know no, not having to sort of go through each panel with your mouse and then slide left and right just to see what it's like you know this makes it super easy a very useful feature is actually when you press down on a scroll wheel or a dial it will actually reset that slider so you know if you're someone like me who sort of goes all the way to the bottom all the way to the top just to see what sort of changes it makes knowing that you can reset with just one click is super useful no having to go to your mouse and reset things and align it up perfectly just to reset something. The dials themselves actually have a super subtle sort of notch functionality so you can definitely tell when you're making a change because you can feel the steps in the dial when you turn it. There are a ton of other buttons, ton of other custom features and one great thing about the custom buttons is that you can actually assign them to do whatever you want. The Loop Deck software lets you assign each custom button to whatever you like. They're assigned by default to whatever Loop Deck has set them and you can see through them, you can see through the app that they have, you can see what each button does and what each custom function does. You can also hold down the FN button and add another action to any of the buttons that you like to. So there is a lot that you can do with this keyboard. I especially love the three buttons in the top right, the before and after, the screen mode and the export. I love the before and after button, being able to quickly see what changes I've made, flick through pictures and just quickly see what other adjustments I wanna make is super useful. There's also super useful undo and redo buttons. So there's no having to hold down command and then press Z just to undo something. You know, you can really easily do it with the keyboard. There's also a copy and paste button. So if you're someone like me who likes to take edits from one picture and apply it to another, this makes it super easy to do that. I do think though that the keyboard could be a little bit better in some other ways. For example, the buttons I do find a bit mushy almost. I feel like I want them to be a bit more clicky, a bit more tactile. I also think the keyboard could be smaller. You know, I think there's a lot of space between the buttons and I think those could sort of be crammed down more so that you have a more compact keyboard because I would love to be able to take the keyboard, put it in my backpack and just use it on the go. But yeah, overall, I think the Loop Deck is pretty cool. It's perfect for people who are editing lots of photos, want to be able to quickly adjust photos, not having to mess around with, with the mouse and sliders and all this other stuff. Being able to have quick access to pretty much every single slider in Lightroom on a keyboard, that's pretty powerful and it makes photo editing just a breeze really. It's not a cheap keyboard though. I think it's around 200 euros, 250 euros. I can't remember exactly. It's not cheap. However, I feel like it is mainly directed at professionals. You know, if you're someone who uses Lightroom professionally, you're a proper photographer, you earn money from taking pictures, editing pictures, things like that. 200 euros to invest in a piece of hardware that could potentially speed up your workflow. I mean, I think for most people that's gonna be worth it. So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter and subscribe for more.